lasting along on these side screws. Literally, I've got, I've barely gotten this board out. She came in to help. And I was like, hey, just go ahead and start doing these screws. And she did, and she's like almost knocked down the whole side. So I'm like trying to film me while trying to film her, what she's doing. But I can't, I'm playing catch up now. Like I said, she started rocking this out. We're gonna go ahead and just do the sides today. She's already got all these screws out, and I think we gotta take these off, and then we might just have to grind off this section of the bot of this galvanized steel first, because if we take all these out, then the windows are gonna come out. I'm gonna grind off some of these bolts that she can't get. Good. Some of hers are actually stuck. Silly kids. So all the screws are out. There was a couple that had rounded off, so it was pretty simple to do. I just went with the angle grinder and snipped them in down the center, and then Emily came back with the air chisel and split them in half, which was very convenient, very simple. So now that all of these million screws are out, they actually tucked underneath the window seals. Window sills. Yeah, window sills. Um, we will eventually pull these windows out and reseal them just to make sure they don't leak at all. For the time being, I don't want to do that. So for now, we're just going to get the angle grinder and zip down all the sides, get the installation out, and that way we can make just one simple run the uh, scrap here. So that's what's about to happen. Exciting. I'm very happy about this. So now I'm just gonna do a very dirty job and itchy job and get all these uh, fiberglass baffles out of here. And then, yeah, stuff is yucky. Yucky, yucky. Thank you. 
All in all, this item was actually a pretty simple process. Aside from going through a bunch of cutting wheels, trying to zip all across that galvanized steel and try to get those off, and then the screws were kind of a pain in the butt. But aside from that, it was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I think I am gonna to try to use the steel from the siding and use that as some of my patches for the floors that I've got to fix. It is galvanized steel, and from my understanding with the flux core welder that I got, um, I can use that to kind of weld with. So. Uh, I appreciate you guys following along. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, uh, we would really appreciate and we'll definitely keep doing this thing. We appreciate you guys. Thank you.